it's Anna here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always it's such a pleasure to join you. Today we're going to be answering a grade 7 natural science life and living question taken from the Hitler Middle School June 2016 exam paper. So let's dive straight in. This question is all about classification of different butterfly species of butterfly fish. So let's have a look at the narration and see what it says. It reads, there are 40 different species of butterfly fish shaded on species found in tropical reefs throughout the world three different species of butterfly fish are shown below fish a fish b and fish c the fish fin diagram and dichotomous key shown below can be used to determine the species of each of these fish and what we have here is the fish fin diagram showing the position of the dorsal fin pelvic fin pectoral fin caudal fin as well as the filament Okay, we we'll just take a look at the fish up uh, fish A to fish C and see the differences in their structure. They're all butterfly fish, but they have different some differences that classify them therefore into different species. Okay, and this is the dichotomous key to the butterfly fish, and it tells us the identifying features that we can use to classify different fish into different. Uh, species groups okay for example if we look at 5a if a fish has a large dark spot on the body on its body near the filament that probably belongs to C epiphium epipium rather but we'll see a little bit more about that in a moment let's have a look at question 8.1 which asks use the dichotomous key and fish fin diagram to identify fish a b and c and then write the name of the fish of each fish in the column labeled scientific name in the table below this is the table and this is where we have to write the scientific name of each of the fish but let's remind ourselves of what we're looking at this is the fish fin diagram and the three different fishes and that's the key that we can use to classify the fish now before we start uh, attempting to classify the fish it would help to know that our key has made it a little simpler can I say in quotation marks for us to be able to identify the fish because we're only choosing from three uh, categories or, or sections rather two three and five because these are the ones that have species identified okay five in total but from three sections so that narrows down our options a little bit now let's have a look at fish a fish a has this large spot going towards the filament a large dark spot hmm and then we go come and we have a look and see what else what other identifying feature is there it seems mostly it's the large dark spot so let's have a look and see we said we're looking from two three and five number two talks about two large white spots below the dorsal fin that is not applicable number three says the caudal fin with two dark bars at the tip or well, fish A doesn't have any dark bars at the tip, so we skip that. Then 5.A says large dark spot on body near filament. And part B says small dark spot on body near filament. This counts as a large dark spot. So we therefore know that the scientific name for this fish A is Shetodon epipium. Okay. Notice that it's written and it's underlined. We'll explain why in a little bit but for now let's go on to identify what fish b is fish b has a dark spot on its face that runs all the way down to the pelvic fin and it also has a dark spot on at the tip of its caudal fin now let's see what identifying features we can use okay there's nothing we don't have any names for the dark pelvic fin so we go and on and we look at see what else do we have there's nothing about the face with the dark spots on this on the key so it has to do with the caudal fin and we said we've got a dark bar at the tip so now we come see on, on section three it says caudal fin with two dark bars at tip do we have two no it's just one caudal fin with one dark bar at the tip 
that's correct and therefore our species is shaded on Pliny. okay now finally fish C again also has a stuck patch on its face and a small dark patch towards the filament okay again we said that there's nothing in the key talking about dark spots on the face so we ignore that feature for now and then we go on and have a look and we see hmm it's a small dark spot near the filament and there it is small dark spot on body near filament and this is c origa and therefore our scientific name is shaded on origa okay so that's how we go about using the key and the filament diagram to identify the species of each of these different uh, butterfly fish now let's have a look at the next part of the questions 8.2 says provide at least two rules a scientist abides by when writing the scientific names of organisms okay one rule that a scientific a scientist must abide by is that you have to write the genus name first with a capital letter at the beginning like we were saying our fish are called shaded on epipium for example the genus name comes first and this is the genus name with a capital letter at the beginning okay and another rule that you can abide by is that you write the scientific name in italics or underlined that's a rule italics come out better when you're typing so if you're doing a handwritten uh, classification you might want to underline the scientific name okay but so those are two rules that you can abide by but we'll give you two bonus rules as well a third rule is that you must not capitalize the species name only capitalize the genus name which you write first and the species name comes after the genus name and do not put a capital letter on the species name and finally if you're not going to write the genus name in full put a dot a dot after the capitalized initial of the genus name so for example you can write shaded on epiphium in full or you can write it as c dot epiphium underline and that will also still be correct so those are four rules we gave you two bonus rules that you can abide by when writing scientific names of organisms okay and the last part of question eight asks to which kingdom would the butterfly fish belong so let's just remind ourselves of the kingdoms that are there there's kingdom animalia where all animals fall under and there's kingdom plantae kingdom protista kingdom fungi as well as kingdom monera and therefore fish are classed as animals and belong to kingdom animalia okay so that's that on this exciting taxonomy classification stuff before i go i'd like to say a very big thank you to our epic sponsor for making this video possible you can read about them in the description below also head over to our website for more of these epic tutorial videos and if you can't find the answer to your question feel free to send us the question and we will respond with a personalized video just for you until the next time stay epic